about holiday shopping. So obviously we know that the holidays are among us. We've got Thanksgiving, what, three weeks away now, Diane? It's around the corner. Around the corner, so we've got Diane Gossman, our etiquette expert from the Protocol School of Texas. You could also find her on the Huffington Post. Talk about being a house guest and then also being a good host. Too. Maybe we can give us a couple pointers there too. Because you don't want to overstay your welcome. This is kind of a hot topic and we all, it's very subjective, right? Yeah, we that's all right. feel different about the etiquette of being a house guest. That's right, because you know when you say you don't want to overstay your welcome, I may think I may think three days this long, you may think half hour is long. Yes. So you know, it just really depends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, especially with family, yes. because this can get kind of sticky. Okay, so you brought us some tips that we can all live by. First of all, you say, go ahead, send your host your arrival and departure date and stick with it. Don't say, well, now that I'm here, I think I'm going to extend my stay another week because I want to see more friends or I've, I, there's a few more things I want to do mm -hmm. because, you know, your host has holiday plans also. Sure. So it's very important. And, and also don't say, you know, I'm not quite sure when we're coming. It could be next Tuesday or it could be the following week. Because we'd like to know what your plans are mm -hmm. so we can make our own plans so as on, the host. On that note, I've got family or friends in town. Am I able to leave them to do my own holiday party or do we need to have our itineraries overlapping? Let's hope not. Okay, okay, so I think that it's important as a host to make your guests feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. So you are going to want to do some things with them, but they need to plan on their own. So they have to have their own time, plus they need to go off on their own because you have other things you have to do too, not to mention work. Oh, you know, most yes. people work. Absolutely. They have, to, they have duties. They have to take their kids mm -hmm. different places. So yeah, do, as a guest, don't rely on your host to entertain you. Yeah, you say, go ahead, rent a car. Uh, it's really not that much of an expense. How many people have an extra car or two lying around no so one. I think it's and that's right and you're saving money on a hotel yes. so go ahead and put the bill to rent that car okay you also say pack respectfully you don't need to be uh, yeah <laughs> overrunning your, your Lugging host home. five suitcases mm -hmm. in and so you know you might want to go mm -hmm. we, we don't ski here in Texas yes. not anywhere where we live but, sure you know you don't want to bring all of this travel gear and there's no place to put it so one suitcase each I know that's a stretch I know it would be a stretch for us because we have we have lots of things to bring. I'm a very efficient packer. Are you really? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> pack efficiently because that guest room is probably a child's room or an office mm -hmm. or maybe a small little guest room and, right. and we don't know where to put your suitcases. Yeah. And don't pack any surprises, i.e. your pets uh, without asking. I.e. That has yes. happened to me before. That and they bring a pet? Oh, and they didn't even say anything that the dog just came in. Oh, that's happened. Oop. I'm yeah. just saying. Not, not good <laughs> guest duty. <laughs> Let your hosts know about dietary restrictions or what meals you'll be present. Again, back to the itinerary, what meals you'll be present for. And, and if you're allergic to something or if your children are allergic to something, you know, what if it's a pet? What if somebody was in your home that was allergic to a pet mm -hmm. that they brought in? But anyway, you know, if you've got somebody who's not allergic, if you have someone who can't, is a vegetarian, and if you have these special circumstances, you want to make sure and go to the grocery store mm -hmm. and buy some food. You know, let's say you're a vegan, paleo, low mm -hmm. Uh -huh. All of these things. Yep. Okay, so <laughs> go grocery shopping and because it's expensive. I know. Well, and it's it, like you said, it's just a little courtesy to your a host, long way. and then it also gets flipped onto your house guest. So that's good stuff. Thanks, Diane. Diane Gottsman. Thank Always you. great to see you. We'll be right back.